baked potato in Idaho. <laughs> We've caught sight of the potato. Look at it, just baking in the sun. <laughs> I'm gonna eat it. That does not look like a livable space. Holy crap. Hailey, I think you're gonna be surprised. Wait, that is like exactly what I was picturing. Really? Oh, oh my yeah. god. <laughs> look how funny this looks. Oh my god. Look at this. So this is kind of hard to open or okay. kind of confusing. Hey, big girl. <laughs> I look like a girl who's staying in a potato. <laughs> I've never touched a cow. I have to touch a cow for my bucket list. I scratch your head. Look, he has a little top of hair. <laughs> it's like Spock. <laughs> I, to, I have my own Spock here. This has to be the weirdest thing I've done in a long time. Look at that potato. And we're just petting a cow we just met. And it has a hair do on its head. <laughs> <laughs> you pay attention and shut up. Oh. And out? I thought we were feeding it. All right, we made it to the potato. I had gave no intro. This is the first vacation of the summer that we're taking, and we decided to book the world's largest potato Airbnb for a night, and comes with a very nice female cow, which we were not expecting, so. We did not expect it. Let's give you the potato tour. The Big Idaho Potato Hotel. So, this is her from afar. You've got Dolly, you've got the potato, and you got the outhouse. Would you look at that view? So you walk up these steps and you turn this lever and you open the potato. I can't do it, Ryan. Okay, so then you enter the tater. Go down these steps and this is it. It's beautiful. So obviously you've got the bed in the corner with this beautiful chandelier. Some nice touches in the corners. Hello. Two chairs, then you've got the mugs and hot cocoa, some vinyls, a mini fridge, a little sink thingy, and this is my favorite part. She's got this cool record player with Casey Musgraves Golden Hour. And Dolly is not happy. This oh is crazy. Gosh. I can't believe we're doing it. I literally like want so many different thumbnails. Like I want us in here, I want us out behind the potato. Like there's so many. Yeah. And then you duck your head through here. All right, this is where the bathroom is. So you've got this outhouse. Nice bohemian bathroom. Don't mind my outfits, my aunts. You've got this, you've got this bowl. These are essential salt things. So this is lavender, so these are lavender. Pretty cool. And you've got a shower. Thank goodness we're only staying here for one night because it's very hot in here. So yeah, that is the potato that we're gonna stay in tonight. We're gonna document it. Our night in the potato. This is a 
definitely the most interesting summer vacation I've ever taken in my entire life. And I'm honestly so excited to just like do nothing. I had a fever the past two days and I want mu nothing more just to like be a potato in the potato. So that's what we're gonna do. All right, let's get situated, eh? Sounds good. Living life, I got it. Living in potatoes, the only thing that I like. Hey, hey. This outfit is so funny, my aunt gave it to me. I was looking real crusty after the gym. She insisted. I don't think I've looked worse in weeks. You're good, you look fine. I'm just living life. Okay, I literally just used it for the thumbnail, um, but now we just need some rest. <laughs> Okay, so for supplies, we got some snacks from Whole Foods. I got my favorite protein shake from Evolve and some teriyaki chicken. So let's start chilling these. Yummy, yummy plant-based protein shake. We're trying to figure out how to work this record player. And we're probably gonna take a nap because if you can't tell by how rough I look, it's been quite a day. We landed here at like 11.45 and it's already 4.30 p.m. So we're a little tired and my feet smell so bad and there's like no air circulation so all I can smell is my feet. Very confusing record player. All right, I'm done. I'm going on this bit. Ugh, finally, I have so many videos I want to watch. <laughs> finally, we came to this potato so we can do that. Literally. Okay. Jeez. It's chilling time. There's like nothing to do in here. Hey, lady. And I love it. Yeah, I see a spirit. <laughs> no, because like I've been sick. I just want to be doing nothing. Mm, there's a bug. Oh, God. I'll kill him. Where is he? Oh, at least it, oh no, that flying one. That's a mosquito, it's gonna get us. Hey, come on. This place is so cute. <laughs> There's no way, you <laughs> motherfucker. Done. I saw, wait, actually? Yeah. Hey guys, woke up from my nap and my medication wore off. Nose is dripping, throat is hurting. Uh. You can turn it off now. <laughs> Little later, Ryan took a shower, then I took a shower, and the sunset is out now. And it's so pretty. Wow. We can finally watch the sunset on a grateful universe. <laughs> This looks so unfitting, just being in the country in these white robes. <laughs> hey, Dolly. Oh, she looks kind of scared. Are you scared, honey? Let's watch sunset together. She's a very privileged cow. Hey, honey. Oh, my goodness. You look so graceful with the sun behind you. Oh, yes. Licking my feelings. He's licking your feet. That is so gracious. That must be a cow's way of, like, saying welcome or oh. something. Oh, I just got licked by a cow on my leg. Okay, he, she really does smell pretty bad, though. Really? What do you like on my shoes? I feel like if they drop off my feet, she might just eat it and go run away with it. I know, I'm kind of worried about my Birkenstocks. Oh my gosh, she's nibbling, she's nibbling. Okay, be careful, Haley. No. Oh, she's not a dog. She doesn't know no. It's like she's about to sneeze, but she doesn't. Oh. Oh god, I don't know what she's doing. Dude. Oh no, oh, my birds. No, no Dolly. <laughs> no. She decides not to attack. <laughs> but next time, these unpredictable creatures may strike at any moment. Dolly, what are you doing? <laughs> Why are you so. She's just really friendly. Friendly. Hey, Dolly, that's it looks my camera. It's like she's about to puke. Dolly. Dolly. <laughs> oh, she's so cute. She's, she's like really a huge cute. dog. <laughs> oh. Oh, she didn't like that. Whoa. Whoa. I need to get my books, Haley. <laughs> Ryan Trahan makes the go for it. He must protect his books. What will Dolly do? Oh god, she got scared. I right knew now. she would get scared. Dolly got scared, but what move will she make next? Neither of us can tell. She is seemingly harmless. We sure do hope it stays that way. Y'all eat me, but I can't eat your shoes. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> Whoa! Her tongue's getting down there. <laughs> Dolly's a freak. <laughs> We're trying to watch Dolly the sunset Dolly backs here. up slowly as she is offended by Ryan Trahan's comment. <laughs> she walks away. Oh, we no, slip around cold. this time. Why are you so upset? 
Okay, we are back in the potato because I heard some coyotes <laughs> and Ryan said they were in the distance But I was not okay with that. So we ran back. Well, I ran back into the potato It's now 1034 at night. How would you say your potato experience has been so far pretty awesome? I've really enjoyed just kind of getting away and sitting in this potato We've already had mm -hmm. some life discussions while looking at the sunset and listening to music I'm Talking to Dolly. I said that the potato would be smaller than he's picturing and he thought it would be bigger than what we expected so what would you say is the conclusion i would say this is about what i expected honestly i expected the ceiling to be lower oh really that's what i thought i thought we'd have to like kind of i don't know i thought it'd be pretty close quarters this is actually a little bit bigger than i nice. thought of i will like admit it's really fun i think one night is good though like i don't know about two yeah but it's actually pretty cool because then we can travel the world just one night at a time <laughs> yeah because we're not those types of people to just like do something for a week mm -hmm. i feel like we can really soak it up within two days and one night so we're gonna hit the hay do we have any plans of waking up early for sunrise I want to. My hair is pretty soft from the shampoo and conditioner she provided, so that was a nice touch. All right, good night. I'm such a vlogger. <clears throat> good morning. We did not wake up for sunrise. Surprise, surprise. But we cleaned up the potato so well, I feel like she's going to be so surprised. Here's the last look of the potato. It's just a big cave. Really makes me wonder why we have such big hotel rooms. This is perfectly fine. Maybe I could live in New York. Well, that's it for the potato land. I woke up feeling pretty sick, so that was fun. But my aunt and uncle are about to pick us up. I want Starbucks really bad. But don't worry, that is not the end of our first vacation video. We're gonna do a bunch of fun stuff because we're still here for the day to hang out with my aunt and uncle and they want to take us paddle boarding and a bunch of fun Boise, Idaho stuff. I'm really out of breath because I still have a fever. See you when we're getting Starbucks, hopefully. Also, this scab on my nose has just gone out of hand. Bye, potato. Bye. Now we're gonna hitchhike. We're getting Starbucks and then finally we're getting Donut time, Starbucks and donut time. We just played tennis and I crushed Ryan's butt. Wait, what'd you say? So we just played tennis. And then what? Crushed Ryan's butt. No, you didn't. Your butt's been crushed. No. Tell it how it I... really is. Tell it how it really is. <sighs> Fine, guys. We can ask Aunt Tracy. Aunt Tracy, who crushed whose butt? Ryan. Hey! What? You're kidding, right? <laughs> well, you want a challenge? Let's do five on, see who win first. On camera? What the freak? I'm just living life. I feel better than everyone when I wear this. Okay, we are gonna go pedal boarding now. This is actually pretty itchy. And I think we're gonna meet a teacup dog, hopefully. <laughs> Sounds like we're just meeting him independently, like for lunch. It's my aunt's friend's dog. So let's go see how this is. So, okay. I don't know how to vlog. Oh, wait! She's so smart! Put her on the board, see how small she is. Oh, yeah. She's a tiny nugget. Your cat hair because she's oh. a cat. You said the cat seat. Oh, jeez. She looks bigger on camera. Look! Oh my, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. She is the and size of my hand. Oh my gosh, she's so cute. She's like a tiny nugget. She looks like a hamster. Okay. <laughs> she's a hamster. Oh, Ryan. oh my, oh my gosh. gosh. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Oh, there's the big one. Wait, I want to get the small one next to this guy. Oh my gosh. Little hamster. Gizzy. Gizzy. What's that noise? Uh, oh, she's just, they, Yorkies do that. Oh. Yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Addie's so patient. Hey, Addie. Oh my god. <laughs> His mouth could have eaten her. Stop it. Come here, Gizzy. Come here, Gizzy. Gizzy's trying so hard to avoid Addie. Addie, go with that. Come on. Oh, it's <laughs> <what's your> name. <laughs> I'm going to do a nice little shot of apple cider vinegar. This stuff is good for your hair and everything. <sighs> yep, that wakes up the tummy real quick. <laughs> do not do that if you have mouth sores. Oh my gosh, that burns. Good morning metabolism. All right, that's enough for the day. <laughs> 
right, trying our first Dutch Bros. Sorry about the straw, but they just give it to you with it in it, so I had no no choice really. Okay, I got the Golden Eagle, which is like the equivalent of an ice caramel macchiato from Starbucks, right? But it's so good. It's way, it's, it's honestly way better than Starbucks. <gasps> so creamy. Okay, girly pops, that is it for this video. I am whispering because there's someone sleeping on the couch right now. Thank you for watching this video. Make sure you go to my vlog channel to catch up on some like bucket list vlogs that are gonna happen. Follow my Instagram and my Twitter. And thank you to Caroline, who is Girly Pop of the Week this week. If you would like to be Girly Pop of the Week next week, you can go to my Twitter and retweet the link to this video. But until then, God bless Girly Pops. Goodbye.